Uh, to Daniel Stein, the Federation for American Immigration Reform president. Uh, Daniel, we always talk about the human crisis at the border. Uh, we never really get into how costly this is getting at the border for uh, American taxpayers. Maybe you can get into that. Well, we took a look at it, and we've been studying it longitudinally. We estimate about 2.3 million illegal aliens have been admitted by the Biden administration or got, were gotaways. Estimate that about $20 billion of taxpayer cost, $20 billion that could be used for police or teachers or a whole variety of things that Americans need. On top of that, today, the Biden administration asked for $30 billion more for free legal representation for unaccompanied minors. President Biden dismantled immigration controls when he first took office and then walked away and has not responded, not gone back to the border. Vice President says it's secure, but anybody who agrees with her basically suspends their rational judgment because there's about 1.5 billion people around the world who would like to move to a country like the U.S. So, in fact, Neil, what we see at the border right now is a trickle of a dam that is breaking, that is going to break wide open at this point, and the Border Patrol is simply running a processing center. The number coming in is determined solely by who's showing up, right? So the costs are going to continue to escalate. So let's talk about those costs. They've been pegged at around $20 billion a year for U.S. taxpayers. Uh, what goes into that? Well, education, that's a big part of that cost. Housing, public assistance, school lunch programs, remedial education, uh, to some extent transportation, although it doesn't ex ex include this last round of FEMA money that they're using to bus people in or fly them in at night, but it covers most of the other transportation costs, detention, removals as well, but a lot of it is basically public services, and the big one is the elephant in the classroom, that's uh, schools, of course. Uh, a lot of them have remedial educational needs, they're illiterate in any language. There's also health care. And as you see, legal representation at taxpayer expense is hugely expensive. And the processing of unaccompanied minors who basically get to disappear and don't even have to come forward and make an asylum claim, there are no consequences. It's the cost of no consequences, no immigration enforcement. I mean, our civilization depends upon the rule of law, Neil. And this thing is going to cause a total societal breakdown unless somebody recognizes there's no limits to what the Biden administration is doing. So what's the end game here? What's the game? plan. Yeah, and if you think about it, we allow in, you know, uh, about one and a half million people the legal the right way every year. If you're adding two million to that, um, there's only so much a country can absorb and all the problems associated with that that it can take. I, I assume we're already at that breaking point. Well, we're well past the breaking point. The schools are suffering from the impact. What we, what we have here is, uh, frankly, an unwillingness by the government to track and monitor people. The DHS, despite the smart technology, it doesn't handle stupid border policies because they disappear. DHS doesn't know where they are. They can't even reunite people. They don't certainly don't track their costs in public schools and education, health care, what have you, except when the states come back demanding reimbursement for money that they keep track of. But again, Congress doesn't actually consider a direct appropriation to the cost of illegal immigration, it's all off book because you have this division of accountability and responsibility. The Biden administration is in denial. They're trying to convince the American people that something is secure that obviously is not secure. And this is the first time in American politics where we see politicians basically apparently believe the American people are so stupid that they can't see what's happening. Their borders are basically out of control and the country's being invaded. So in the end, Taxpayers, somebody has to pay all these costs. There's a limit to how much a country can can employ people who are literate in any language, fifth grade education, we're a post-industrial superpower information economy trying to import massive amounts of labor that are more appropriate to 1910. It's just wild. And, and as you say, we're well past that breaking point. Daniel, thank you very much. Daniel Stein. Thank you.